right? Shalom. Shalom. All right, we want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, and Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that the Lord has set forth on this earth to lead and to guide and to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also, we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring in His work in all truth and in sincerity. We want to say Shalom to you, brothers. And also, we want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are believing and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say Shalom. Shalom. All right. And again, Yahweh, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And Baha Shum is in the name, and Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus, and the Rakak is the Holy Spirit. All right. And you know, we coming together through the Spirit, you know, to make a Lord willing, edifying lesson. All right, and uh, Lord willing, this title is going to be called They Still Want to Hear Smooth Things, all right? Because, uh, you know, I was watching a brother's lesson earlier, the brother Shapatya out there in the GMS um, um, Chicago camp, and I forgot the particular, the uh, specific number that he said, but there's o there's been over 200 um, mass shootings in um, in the year of 2022, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that's a biblical prophecy. Okay, because it says in uh, Matthew the twenty-fourth chapter that um, the, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, and you know we are just the begin. We, this is really just the beginning. All right, like the Lord says, the these are the beginning of sorrows. So right now, you know, there's so much things going on. It's hard. It's hard to keep up. You know, and that's why, you know, as a body, you know, that's why you need a body. You know, so each and every brother, we're, we're watchmen. You know, and each brother, you know, they, they bring out um, different things through the spirit. Okay, with the, the with the mass shootings, okay, the uh, the food prices going up, the gas prices. You know, we we heading into the summer. You know, and uh, through the spirit, Apostle Tar said, "Don't be surprised when you see ten dollars a gallon." You know, and we already seeing eight dollars a gallon, I believe, in um, Cali. Yep. Yeah. So it, it's it's going to get worse out here. Food is going to be scarce, and now they saying it's going to be a, a, a there's a shortage of water. You know, so there's uh, so much things going on in the world. But going back to the title, our people, they still want to hear smooth things, okay? When we say our people, we speak about, all right, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they still want to hear smooth things, all right? And brother, got something to open up with? Not, Isaiah 30 and 9. Uh, yeah, come on, we can open up with that. Isaiah 30 and 9, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Right, and who's this talking about? This is talking about the nation of Israel, but more particularly, two-thirds of our people. Uh, you can read that again from the um, top again, Bible Kishon. Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people. Right, speaking about two-thirds of our people. They're rebellious, and rebellious is at the sin of witchcraft, all right? Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Right, and how are they not hearing the law of the Lord? All right, because Amos the third, uh, third, uh, 3 and 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And we bringing out the law, all right, day in and day out by way of the YouTube and week in and week out um, on the highways and byways, okay? And now the spirit is turning up where you seeing brothers go out um, multiple times a week, man. You know, and that's why uh, John 15 and 22, that chapter is going to come into effect because then it says there shall be no cloak for your sins. No, no excuse for, for you uh, Israelites, man. Okay, because not only are the prophets giving you warning, okay, you got you got you got celebrities, you know, coming out telling that you're a Hebrew Israelite, all right, LeBron James wearing fringes. So hey, this you can't run away from this truth. Yep. It's in verse 10, it says, Which say to the seers, see not into the prophets, prophesy not unto his right thing. Right, and uh what is a prophet? A prophet uh say say before. Okay, and we letting you know that uh bad times are coming, man. Okay, and we're not just saying that because because uh because that's what we want or that's what we think. Man, everything that's we say is is out of the scriptures. We we bringing up Bible scriptures, man. All right, and uh, Isaiah eight and twenty says to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. That's right. You know, so we we bringing out the scriptures. You know. That's right. I had a. <clears throat> you had some other one. Uh, just a little more. Go ahead, brother. I said. Uh, it says, we say to the seers, see not to the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things, speak unto his smooth things, 
prophesied the seats. Yep, and that's why our people are uh, filling up these uh, church houses because with the with your Christian pastor telling you prosperity, peace. You know, if you tithe, you know, you, you uh, you, you're gonna be you, you're gonna have fortune. Okay, but that's that's not a, a, a true prophet, man. Okay, and then they, these people are gonna find out that they've been lied to, they've been bamboozled, especially when uh, shit hits the fan. All right, especially uh, when it reaches the summertime, and then you're looking at ten dollars uh, a gallon for gas, man. You know, Jake, Jake already uh, scarcely making it. All right, we we make just enough to um, to have our head above water. You know, and that's an uncomfortable feeling. You, you just your head just above water. So imagine, you know, when you go to the grocery store and a loaf of bread costs ten dollars. You know, people are gonna be making um, 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 life decisions. You know, here soon. Yeah, you know? It's like it's like you can only hear the smooth things till reality hits you, man. Right. You, know, you can only hear the smooth things so long because eventually somebody gonna ask, "What does this mean? Why is this happening? You know, what was all that stuff that you were telling us about? Mm -hmm. You know, the, the white picket fence, the house, and the dog." You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. until all hell breaks loose. Yep. And it says, uh, verse 11, it says, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to seize from before us. You see, so that's the point right there. That's the type of spirit Jake comes in, man. Get you out of the way, man. They don't want to hear the reproof of Yahweh Messiah. They don't want to hear and deal with the bitterness of this truth, man. You know, all they want is the sweetness, man. But that's unbalanced. Yep. Okay, because if you, if you, if you could take a compliment, then you better be able to take a, a correction too. Mm -hmm. That's right. I had a quick one. This is Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. So, you know, the two thirds of our people refuse to hear the words of the heavenly father, man. All right. And, and who's bringing out that word to serve the prophets, you know, backing up what the brother Ottawan is saying, man, they just want to hear smooth things, but those things aren't going to profit them in the times that we're coming into. Yep. 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 Uh, you, you done with that one? Kind of, yeah. yeah. You could pull out your other one out. Kind of had another one. Yeah, go ahead, so right. This is Jeremiah chapter five. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 31 the prophets the prophets prophesy falsely and the and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so uh, and what will ye do in the end thereof you know so our people love to hear them smooth things that don't profit you know so like the brother Gabal was going into man we seeing all these things happening the heavenly father showing his signs his tokens the inflation the famine you know but it says what will you do in the end thereof man our people aren't preparing themselves for the things to come, man. Yep, and that's, you know, because what we're speaking about is life and death, you know, to get straight to the nitty gritty, this is life and death. Life, if you come back into your house and shy and death, if you don't come back into the Lord, man, that's right. you know, and who, who wants to be told a lie, all right? Who wants to say that, you know, America is going to bounce back? But two months, two, two, and next two months, you're looking at $10, $10 a gallon for gas. You know, you, 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 it's going to be a scarcity of food. So why, 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 um, why settle with lies? You know, just prepare your mind, you know, and seek your how about some outside. So, so you can, so you can be protected. You know, if you want to, if you want smooth, if you want to hear smooth things, hey, you better come back unto the Lord, you know, because hey, even though there's a balance, we, we are going to have to go through that hour of temptation. You know, brothers, brothers might face death. Brothers going to be persecuted you can cast it in the prison but it, uh, there's a um, there's a um we, we we have um comfort knowing that a hey, yahweh bashim al is not gonna put too much on us that we can't handle we we know that yahweh bashim al said in isaiah 65 to 13 my servants gonna eat you know so if you want to hear if you want to if you want the smooth things then you got to come back into the lord mm -hmm. you know All right I got a precept for you. Yep, come. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Right, destruction is coming, okay? And this place is going to be utterly uh, destroyed in, in 60 minutes. But before before the ultimate destruction and those thermonuclears come, hey, the Lord is going, is going to plague this place with plagues that's uh, similar to Egypt, man. Okay, it's going to be more pestilence. Okay, it's going to be more more mass shootings okay don't be surprised next week it's another mass shooting don't be surprised when another celebrity is getting put to death man okay uh i got a quick precept this is jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophets that has been before me and before thee of old 
prophesied both against many countries. Okay, you read about all, um, all, all our great forefathers, man. Jeremiah, all right, Noah, okay, Isaiah, okay, any prophet that was uh, that was in the scriptures, man. Daniel, okay, John the Revelator, they prophesied of war. Okay, they prophesied against um, countries, man. Okay, and it says and against great kingdoms of war. Okay, World War Three is 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 um is brewing up. Okay, you got all these things going on, and on top of that war. Okay, Putin ain't who Putin ain't, ain't ain't letting down, man. Okay, and it's gonna be war out on these streets. Okay, it's gonna be race wars out here, man. Okay, it's gonna be civil unrest. Okay, it's gonna be every man for themselves out here. Right. You know, and it says of evil, evil which goes back into bad times, and that's the future for America, man. The brother just brought out in Ezekiel seven twenty five. All right, they, they uh, destruction comes, but they seek peace, man. That's a that's a promise from Yahweh about Shema Shah, man. Mm -hmm. Time after time, okay. Every time you read these scriptures, man, it, this is this is the Most High's uh, diary, okay. He's letting you know what he's about to do, man. Yeah, hey, that's spiritual because the word promise in the Hebrew is the bar, the bar, which means word. Yep. But it also means promise. Yep. So the Lord's word is his promise. Yep. Sorry. Yep. And it says of pestilence, verse nine, the prophet was prophesy of peace. And that's the, and those those false prophets, man. Right. Okay, these Christian pastors out here, man. Okay, but the true prophets is, is telling you destruction is coming. Okay, after destruction, peace will come. Okay, there, like it says in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace. Mm -hmm. Okay, before peace come, war is coming. Okay, uh, you're gonna be said, you're gonna be seeing dead bodies out here. Okay, you're gonna be seeing uh, um, uh, um, blood and guts, man. Okay, you're gonna be seeing ch animals. Um, running wild man okay so peace is coming but after war okay and it says when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that yahweh have truly sent them, truly sent him okay and these people are going to realize that those men that's been out on those highways and byways been telling the truth but guess what it's going to be too late okay the, the gates of mercy is going to be closed you know, just like in the time of Noah, they believed that a prophet was among them. But guess what? They realized it when 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 they was beating on that ark. And guess what? That the um, that spiritual ark was closed, man. You know. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Romans 16, starting at verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, among them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shemashiach, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. You see, and that's these church pastors, uh, you know, they, they use their good words and fair speeches to deceive the simple minded, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but Yahweh's Messiah's truth, you know, doesn't have to be spoken in, in good words and in fair speeches, man. All right, because the truth is what prevails. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing. A lot of people, they, they don't want to deal with reality until reality actually hits them, and then they're going to be stuck wondering why, you know, it went the way it went. All right, because when Yahweh's Messiah speak unto our people, Jake didn't want to take heed, man. All right? Jake, Jake got itching ears, man. Like I said, 2 Timothy 4, starting at uh, verse um, verse four, verse 3. It says, for the time will come, and we're already in these times now. It says, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. You see, and that's our people. Our people, they rather hear a fairy tale they hear the truth be on Bashmah man. That's mm -hmm. what I was going to say. Am I therefore to become your enemy because I tell you the truth, man? You know, we tell Jake about what's about to happen, what's going on, and they get offended at that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it says in Psalm 73, if I speak thus to the children of thy people, I'll be paraphrasing, I shall, I shall offend them. That's a paraphrasing, man. You know? And when you go into the word itching in the Greek, I got it uh, popped up right here. Lock you up. The word itching is um, Strong's G2833, all right? It's, it says, Kaneko, it says, desire, it says to scratch, tickle, make the itch. Desires of hearing something pleasant, man. Right? And that's really what it is, to have itching ears. They want to hear something pleasant, man. Right? Yeah. You know? yeah, and, and it was something I was just thinking about, you know, um, the brother was speaking to some real stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? But like, these people, these people don't know uh, um, about Shemal Shah because if they knew who the world even calls God and Jesus, then they would know they would know the prophets, you know, because we come in the same stead as, as Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you read Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord said he was a man of war, okay, and also it says 
um, Yahweh Shai was an austere man. So if you knew um, the characteristics of 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 who the world even calls God and His Son, then you would know His prophets, all right? Because we come in that same stead. People be like, "Oh, you, you, you're not, you're not, y'all not speaking the truth because y'all y'all curse or y'all or y'all hate or y'all raising y'all voice." But when you read the scriptures in in, uh, in the Gospels, Yahweh Shai was flipping tables. He was he was uh, he was uh, lashing out, man. You know, I gotta put it back to you. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray to you, and hear and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Right. And it's like you got some Jake who be like that, man. They'll want to hear what you gotta say. Because they know in their spirit that you're a man of Yahweh Shemashai. You know, so they'll want to hear what you have to say. They'll want to know your opinion, but they ain't going to follow it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the big issue, man. You got to go. Okay, verse 31. And they come unto thee as a people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much, for they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. You know, and that's what our people do, man. You know, especially when we see that week in and out, or, or you know, when we make these lessons, man. A lot of our people watch these lessons, but they continue to do what they want to do, man. You know, a lot of our people would rather watch Kevin Samuels. They would rather watch uh, uh, Charleston White rather than this truth, man, because it goes back into Babylon. A lot of our people want to stay in Babylon, you know, as we see in these times. But I got a little bit more on it. In verse 32, and it says, And lo, thou... And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when it cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. You know, our people are in that spirit that I got to see it to believe it. Hey, but guess what? It's going to be too late. Like the brother said, hey, the doors of mercy are closing, man. Yep, and that's not faith. You got to see to believe, that's not faith. You know, and Hebrew says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yeah. You know, that's why that's why all those people died in the time of Noah because they ain't have faith. Yeah. You know, and that's gonna be this. It's gonna be the same thing in, in these times. All these people gonna die because they do not have faith. Yeah. You had a precept, huh? Yeah, back up. Let's say right yeah. here. Just Zechariah seven, start that verse uh, eleven. It says, but they refused to hearken, and pulled away the shoulder, and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an act of stone, lest they should hear the law and the words of the Lord, which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts, man. Okay, so it says the Lord is sent it by the prophets. But Jake stopped the ear, they turned away the shoulder, they didn't want to hear the Lord's uh, uh, reproof, man. Okay, going back to Isaiah 30. And it says, therefore it has come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is, man. All right, everybody, Jacob won't be wanting to hear like with the Most High and, and to let the Most High hear them and to dare their trouble. And when the Lord's been calling unto them to get right, you know, and he's been crying unto them, they didn't hear him, man. So yeah. they're going to have to feel the same uh, same spirit, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is Luke 18, starting at 7. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them, and that's the spirit that we should be in, uh, sighing and crying. All right, it says that in uh, the Ezekiel the seventh chapter. All right, the, the Lord is going to avenge those who sighing and crying. All right, for all the abomination that's being done here in the midst, man. You know, and it says verse. Uh, oh, you can if you want. Ezekiel nine and four it says, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of Jerusalem. It says, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Right, and that's the spiritual mark, uh, Thawa. Okay, and those are and those those men, all right, those um, women, those children, those they're going to be exempt from judgment. Okay, the angels going to pass by them, man. All right, but all the ones that's not sighing and crying, they're going to be destroyed. You know, and that's and that's not the spirit to be in, man. Because right now we in. We 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 supposed to be prisoners of hope, man. You know, not not happy that 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 that, that we in prison, man. You know, uh, but going back to Luke 18 and 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, 
Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And that's a rhetorical question, okay? Because faith is only going to be found by those by those men that sighing and crying. They're going to keep the faith, man. And that's a rhetorical question because and that's how terrible these times are going to be, man. That's how that's how uh, dangerous these times are going to be, you know. But but the men that's um that's been diligent, all right. They've been um um they've been hiding themselves in this word. Those those men those, and those um, believers, they're gonna be they're gonna be delivered, all right. But the rest of you people, man, y'all gonna be uh, um, totally destroyed, man. Okay. And, and and that ultimate plague is coming. That that fire, man. You know. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, you know, so we just want to uh, bring that out to the spirit, man. You know, just something that I was uh, meditating on, man, because you know the the times is getting uh, worse and worse. Right. You know, and as the days get worse and worse, hey, you gotta you gotta cleave on to your hot by Chanel shine more and more, man. Right. You know, because hey, this world is uh, sinking, man. It's like the it's like the Titanic. You know, the Titanic just didn't just you know, sink, you know, in 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 in, uh, in a few hours, man. You know, it was a time period, man. That was a that was a big ass ship, you know. And America is is a big ass ship, man. You know, and hey, this place is is uh, is is waxing worse and worse, man. You know, and you got to be in the spirit of uh, uh, waxing stronger and stronger, man. You know. It's lucky. I have another uh, again, uh -huh. but this is the book of Amos, chapter eight, verse eleven. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So, hey, you, you know, there's going to be a time where you're not going to have access to the words that you have by Shemal Shah. Don't take this opportunity for granted, man. Scripture speak about how they shall seek to and fro, meaning that you gonna be going state, city to city, state to state, to trying to find a man of the Lord, man. All right, to know what's gonna happen next, there's gonna be tribulation upon tribulation. But it says they shall not find it, man. So that means, hey, once the doors of mercy are closed, and once the heavenly Father takes his men from out this place, that's gonna be it, man. You're gonna see that destruction coming, man, because it's overdue in, in Babylon, man. Yep, yep. This is the greatest opportunity, you know, that, uh, that 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 we can be presented with, man. We have a chance, all right, to get to know Yahweh Bashan outside, you know, to, to to grow in the spirit, man. You know, right. the, this is a one in a one in a lifetime opportunity, right. you know. But you have to be willing to hear the truth. Yep, right. You got to be willing to take the correction. That's right. You know, because Jake, Jake missed out on the truth because they're not willing to submit to it, man. Right? You know, because it hurts their feelings. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the Lord ain't dealing with no uh, effeminate, you know? None of, the, none of the effeminate shall inherit the kingdom, man. You know, and also these two-thirds of our people, they're effeminate, man. All right, because this is how you, this is this is true masculinity. You know, serving how about Shana Shah, man. All right, because he's teaching us, all right, to be men. They're giving us back in that uh, ancient uh, um, warrior spirit, man. This right. world is effeminate, man. Right. You know, you, you want to be in this world all right, uh, at the club with, with damn sodomites, man. You know, this world is screwed, man. Right. You know? John 3, starting at verse 19, it says, And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Mm -hmm. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, and the truth represents the light, man. Right. Neither cometh to the light, Lest his deeds should be reproved, man. Mean corrected. So you're not gonna come into this truth, you're not gonna come into this light until you know you get that maliciousness out of you, man. In order to get the maliciousness out of you, you have to be willing to take correction, man. You're gonna hear things that cuts your spirit, you know, but you, you're supposed to grow off of that, man. Okay? It says, But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in your So that's the point right there, man. That's why a lot of people they don't get into this truth because they have malicious soul. And they're not willing to, to hear the truth, man. They right. got the itchy ears. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta come to the, you gotta come to the Most High, correct? You know, you can't be coming, coming to him, you know, with wickedness and perverseness. You know, you gotta cut those, you gotta cut that shit out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta come, as, you gotta be a newborn babe, all right? Be reborn again, you know. And so, you know, we're gonna wrap it up with that.
All right, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, and we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, and Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that the Lord has set forth on this earth to lead and to guide and to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also, we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring in this work in all truth and in sincerity. We want to say Shalom to you, brothers, and also. We want to say shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that I believe in and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say shalom. Shalom. Ba 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 ba.